How's it going, folks? If you're having some trouble with the first boss of Rogue Prince of Persia, then this is a guide for you. We're going to go through um, the full fight, and we'll talk about what you need to look out for. So right away, she's going for a charge. We're going to just going to dodge over that and then kick a rock into it, which will get rid of her shield. You need to watch out for those rocks. Without those rocks, um, it could take a lot of hits to get rid of her shield. She's then firing out this series of ranged attacks. There's um, three of those at a time. Sometimes she does more later on in the second phase. And then she's done a couple of those ground pounds as well. Once again, we're utilizing the rocks to stun her and get some hits in. And go for a charge and rocks once again. For the first part of this fight, it's good to kind of play high, stay up on the wall, get a little bit clipped by the ground pound there. But once again, we're just kind of hanging out on the other side of the arena, just waiting to see what she does next. The thing that will kill you here is greed. We want to get in the moves that we can, but then just not overstay our welcome. We want to be ready to dodge the next lot of attacks. So we've got the ranged attacks again. Some of these can go up the wall, but they're majoritively on the ground. When you're dodging those uh, ranged attacks, you want to kind of go more up than across. If you start heading towards her, then you'll be in range for some future attacks, or you might just come down awkwardly on one of those, uh, those attacks there. She went for a claw, we dodged over. Um, she's now shielded for a bit while she enters second phase. Breaks down some of the walls here. These walls don't really get broken down enough to really affect you here. So now her charge move um, goes twice. But then afterwards we have a rock. Break her shield once again. And here we go for the range moves. These come out a bit faster in phase two and can be a little bit bigger. Um, but three of them once again, she wears herself out. And now she's going to ground and pound. We're quite happy to just sit back, let her tire herself out, and start wailing on her again. It's all about space and patience, really, this fight. And there we go, once again, dodging over, hitting with a rock, wailing on her. She throws out the claw, I dodge that as well. And then ground and pound again. I think we've got some really good RNG here that she went for the ground and pound more than anything else. But yeah, it's just space and patience. If you get too greedy, she will punish you. And as you see, I'm really playing it safe. I could just wail on her now just to finish her off, but I'm just, I'm biding my time. I don't want to get caught by any anything unnecessary. Took a bit of a hit there, but one lash slash and she's down. So that's, that's, that's the fight. It's not too difficult once you understand her attack patterns and once you understand the best ways to defeat her. She drops a good bit of loot, good bit of money. Um, but yeah, if you found this guide helpful, just a, um, a quick heads up if you were um, heading into this fight fresh. If you'd like to see my review on the Rogue Prince of Persia, that's up on the channel as well. But yeah, if you found this helpful, drop it a like, give us a subscribe, and I'll see you next time.